Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a very simple and stress-free way to roast up your turkey. So for this turkey, I dry brined it yesterday with coriander, black pepper, salt, some baking powder, which helps crisp up the skin, and some maple sugar. And then I like to stuff a bunch of aromatics in the cavity, and you don't have to do this, but um, yeah, I just think it's nice. So I put some onions, lemon, uh, ginger, garlic, and some thyme. Now I'm just loosening the skin from the breast so we can put in some butter. And the butter will just add a nice little flavor and some extra moisture. I just kind of spread it out with my fingers. Now I'm just going to tie up the legs. And you can leave the wings like this if you want them to get kind of like crispy at the top, but I don't know, I just like how it looks when you tuck them under, so I'm going to do that. And now for our thermometer, I really recommend getting a probe one like this. It tells you exactly when it's done and it's really easy. So you just wanna make sure you properly insert your probe and what you're going for is the deepest part of the breast that's close to the breastbone but not touching the breastbone and kind of parallel to the breastbone. So I feel like this is the meatiest part of the breast and it's close to the breastbone but not touching it. So I'm gonna insert my probe parallel to that, to the breastbone. And I set my probe to 155. It'll carry over the rest. And depending on how big the breast on your bird is, it's going to depend on how much you want to push your probe in. You want the first half of the probe to be in the meatiest part. You wouldn't want to push it all the way back and have the tip be in like the thinnest part. Now I'm just going to heavily drizzle our turkey with olive oil and then we're going to put it at 450 for about 20 minutes and then reduce the heat to 325 until it's done. And then I just keep the thermometer right here and you could track the temperature. And also, I actually never baste my bird. Um, I just don't really think it does anything, but if you want to, you can. And I think it'll take about three or four hours for this one. This one's about 12 pounds. So it ended up taking about three hours and I'm just gonna let it rest for 30 minutes and I'm not gonna take the probe out until the resting is over so all the juices don't rush out. And I just wanted to show that the thigh is at 185 and so we're good to go. And yeah, that's pretty much how I get a nice golden turkey.